Hello and welcome to a measurement video on the area of a rhombus. The steps for any formula based solutions are as follows. We put the formula on the first line. On the second line we substitute all the numbers in underneath the formula. We cal calculate our answer and then we need to check our units carefully. Uh, there's a whole bunch of units and uh, Seeing we're finding the area of a rhombus in this video, we'll be looking to use square units such as millimetres squared or centimetres squared or metres squared. Okay, that's the setup. Now the area of a rhombus can be found in two different ways, depending on what sort of numbers we are given in the question. Here we have a base and a perpendicular height, and if we're given those two dimensions, we do it in this way, version 1 of the area of a rhombus formula, is to use the base and the perpendicular height if we're given it and the area is equal to the base times that perpendicular height. It must be a height that's at 90 degrees to the base. You notice the right angle symbol down there. So that's the height we must use. We can't use any slopey heights or anything like that. And so if we call that base B and we use H for height, we can have a slightly shortened version of the area formula for a rhombus, this first version anyway. Uh, area equals base times height, as long as that height, once again, is the perpendicular height. So pretty straightforward uh, formula. Alrighty, let's have some numbers here. We've got the base uh, 8 metres and the perpendicular height 6 metres. So all we do is uh, substitute those numbers into our formula. The area will be, well, the base you can see is 8, so we'll put an 8 underneath the B. And our perpendicular height is 6 metres, so we'll put a 6 underneath our H. And we have area equals 8 times 6. 8 sixes are 48. Now that's our answer. We've got to check our units now. Now the question has metres in it. This is 6 metres here and 8 metres here. But because we're finding an area, we use square units. So instead of metres, our final answer will be square metres. And uh, there we have our answer, 48 square metres just base times height, as long as that height's a perpendicular height. Pretty straightforward formula there. And we need to be careful with our setting out, that does half the work for us. Now there's a version 2, sometimes we're given the diagonals, the dimensions of the lengths of the diagonals of a rhombus. Now there's a special feature of a rhombus, and that is that the diagonals are supposed to be at 90 degrees to one another, so we could put a right angle right in the middle of the uh, where the diagonals meet there, and they meet at right angles in a rhombus. It's the only sort of shape, other than maybe a square, where that happens, where the diagonals meet at right angles. But anyway, that means we can use a different version. If we're given the, the lengths of the diagonals there, we've got, uh, see the red diagonal? That's kind of indicated, the length of that's kind of indicated by the X there. And the blue diagonal, that's indicated by the Y. Um, so, when we are given the lengths of the diagonals, we can use this version of the formula. Area equals half of the x diagonal times the length of the y diagonal. So we take the diagonals, we multiply them together, and we halve it. So that's version 2 of the rhombus when we are given the lengths of the diagonals. So if we have a question like this one here, which we have uh, 20 millimeters for, the, for one diagonal and 16 millimeters for the other diagonal, we're going to substitute those numbers underneath our formula. We've got area equals half of the x diagonal, which is 20, and the y diagonal, which is 16. So we're multiplying all those together. Now, it doesn't matter about the specifically about the order. You'll remember from your earlier studies that uh, when we're multiplying, the order doesn't actually matter. So if we get, to get those diagonals in the wrong spots, we can still uh, get the answer right. So the area equals uh, 160. Now that's our uh, number answer. Let's have a look at our units. We, are, we have millimetres in the dimensions of the, the lengths of the diagonals there, uh, but as we saw before, for area, we use square units, so instead of millimetres, we'll use square millimetres, so 160 square millimetres there. So that's version 2 when we're given diagonals. Okay, so version 1, just to recap, um, we use the base and the perpendicular height and use a equals base times height, as long as that height's perpendicular. So when we're given those sorts of numbers, we'll use that version of the formula. If we are given 
the diagonals, we'll use half of x times y, half of one diagonal times the other diagonal. So it depends on what numbers you're given in the question as to which of the which version of the rhombus formula you'll choose to use there. Hope that helps. Two versions of the rhombus formula depending on what numbers we're given. None of them too hard if you set your work out nice and carefully. Thanks for watching. We'll check out another area type video next and for all your mathematical needs peterblakemaths.com is the place to go. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.